Well, Dave, for this segment, I want to expand on our discussion on plant reproduction and talk a little bit about oaks um, and cross-pollination and how that affects our ability to produce true uh, plants, true to species. Well, we've got quite a bit of experience with that at SFA. I'm a big proponent of a lot of the Mexico oaks. Some of them actually entered the trade, uh, Polymorpha, Rhizophylla, Cambii. And one of the things that happens, oaks are kind of frisky, and that is they do cross. And so you can end up with some really crazy hybrids. And that's part of the, what we see at the SFA gardens when you have one of this and one of that. So uh, when you're looking for true to type, you really need to have colonies of 25 to 50 plants to maintain that genetic diversity. And that's one of the goals that we have at SFA is to establish germplasm pools is what we call them and keep them somewhat isolated, don't have to be greatly isolated, but getting 25 to 50 trees together in a pool means that you can ensure some good wind pollination. Oaks are normally wind pollinated and you can get great uh, acorn set and you can get that diversity that we're talking about. Now, the, the cross-pollination does have limits. Not every oak can cross-pollinate with correct. another, right? Isn't it the families uh, between the white oaks can all po cross-pollinate within species and the red oaks the same way? That's exactly right. And so the, that's a separation that we've known for a long time. But we, inside of the red oaks and inside of the white oaks, there's just a great number of species that will cross. Keep in mind that there's a hundred and 69 species of oaks in Mexico. A lot of people don't know that. It's a center of diversity. And they've been separated from Texas and East Texas for over 10,000 years. At the end of the last ice age, they basically dried up in between. And that diversity in Mexico has a lot of opportunity, we believe, for drought tolerance and alkalinity tolerance and salt tolerance. And one of the things that's amazing when we first started pulling Mexico oaks is, is that they're hardy. So they carry the genes of hardiness from eons ago and they do rather well and perform well here. Well, a lot of um, the plants that are coming out of Mexico, a lot of the work that you've done with those Mexico oaks is very critical to wild tree. Um, we're in the process at the wild tree research ranch of installing um, lots of these different uh, oak trees in colonies so we can get some uh, actual true to species uh, reproduction there. But we actually see a great need for that um, due to climate change, you know, increasing temperatures, more drought. Uh, these plants perform extremely well in those they conditions uh, in, in severe drought, severe heat, as well as uh, high alkalinity soil. So we're excited about that. There's not a whole lot of plant material in the typical uh, landscape uh, nursery industry of plants that'll that'll succeed in that environment. Um, you know, we're gonna put these plants out on property and not be out there to care for them on a regular basis. Um, so that's a lot of what we're looking for here at Wild Tree.